T-minus three minutes and counting. T-minus three. The voice you hear coming in is Jack King, the voice of launch control at Cape Kennedy. Immediately after launch, the spokesman will be Paul Haney from the Mission Control Center at Houston, Texas. Houston actually controls this mission. Control now, T minus two minutes, 24 two seconds minutes and counting. We have just received a go from the range. The range is clear to launch. Clearance has come from the range for launch. This is Gemini Launch that Control, T minus two minutes and counting. We have confirmation that our computer has been updated in the spacecraft. All systems still go on the Gemini 5 countdown. I have to get out of here. One minute, 45 seconds to launch. Gemini launch control. T minus one minute and 30 seconds and counting. T minus 90 seconds and counting. All systems still looking good. As we approach the final seconds of the countdown, the Titan II launch vehicle will ignite. The two engines in the first eight booster will ignite as we reach zero in the countdown. Three seconds later, after numerous parameters have been checked, the launch vehicle will be released. We will have liftoff some three seconds after ignition. Thousand 
found the thrust of the two Titan II engines. As Burke goes down, down and down and by, go over staging, an event that should occur in approximately 20 seconds. Cut off the Paul Haney's talking about. That's when those two engines cut off. That should be in about 10 seconds from now. Those engines cut off just a few seconds. The PCS load, the command load coming up from the ground has been received. There, you saw the We have staging. You saw the staging there. You saw the plane in view go off on our television monitors and right on the mark. That was booster separation. The spacecraft is now alone out there. on the ground. Looks good to the people in the spacecraft. The booster, the 90 feet of the Titan II booster, has done its work well. It has been cut off uh, to float in its own orbit. Second stage ignition has taken place. Our guidance systems are solid and green all the way. All other values quite nominal. The guidance system means the radio guidance is uh, correct the, uh, in function. It went in at 2 minutes and 48 seconds, about uh, half a minute ago. Second stage cutoff now comes in another uh, 15 seconds. Sergeant says everything's go. Three minutes, 30 seconds. The telemetry data shows the flight is progressing on exactly the plan of freight. Spacecraft uh, with its second stage uh, the booster uh, functioning uh, is going well. Four minutes into the flight, four minutes, uh, velocity 9,600 miles an hour. G forces after staging drop back to 2.2. Second stage directors pull the, all the flight controllers here in the control center. They all give us a go for sustainer engine cutoff. Second stage cut off uh, and the dropping of the second stage of the ninety four minutes booster thirty comes. seconds. Four minutes thirty seconds into the flight. That's a hundred thousand pounds of thrust in that second stage. The second stage and the spacecraft are now under the control of Cooper and Conrad. They can maneuver uh, to a certain degree at this point. 